Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning, we've learned overnight the names of the two women arrested and charged with murder of an elderly Rockcastle County woman. A gas leak overnight evacuated a Lexington store. We'll tell you where this was in just a few. And the Social Security Administration has only until this afternoon to respond to a motion filed on behalf of hundreds of people in eastern Kentucky with their disability payments suspended. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome. It's good to have you with us here on this Thursday as we get the day off and rolling. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Hope your day before Friday is off to a great start. You know, we have a traffic issue we're going to let you know about in just a few minutes on New Circle near Alumni. So if you have to be out that way, listen up because we're going to let you. Hopefully know. it's quick. It's car yeah. fire. So we'll, we'll uh, get the details to you in just a bit. Let's check in with uh, meteorologist Micah Harris in our first alert weather center. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yesterday <laughs> afternoon off into the evening, we sat there with even some peaks of sunshine and finally that cloud deck moved on out. No rain expected for today for about 90, 80, 90 percent of us. Most of us stay dry. Temperatures are there in the 50s this morning, 60s over toward the east, southeast. It's a good looking day and it'll feel pretty nice. When you step out the door, it's, it is on the cool side, but we're kind of used to it by now. This is the fourth or fifth consecutive day. We've actually been there in the mid to upper 50s. 80 degrees by the afternoon, slight chance of rain. Some will be in the upper 70s, some in the lower 80s. But that chance of rain won't affect us all that much. The focus of the forecast the next few days, that muggy air returns, also small rain chances too. And I'll take you right into those details in just about 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. We thank you. New this morning on WKYT, we're tracking the latest developments this morning in a murder case out of Rockcastle County. Overnight, we've learned the names of two women charged with killing an elderly woman during a home invasion. 30 year old Tabitha Howard and 35 year old Kimberly Slusher were arrested and faced numerous charges this morning. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk with the latest developments. Mark, what exactly are the charges against these two? Good morning, Rebecca. The women are facing a long list of charges, including murder, tampering with physical evidence, and fleeing or evading police. This morning, we now know the names of the two women who are accused of killing 86 year old Mary Hinton. Those murder suspects are 35 year old Kimberly Slusher and 30 year old Tabitha Howard. We are also getting our first look at Slusher today. After hours of questioning late last night, officers brought her out in handcuffs. Hinton's family thinks the two women killed her after they broke into her home on Tuesday night. Her family tells us the 86-year-old was blind and hard of hearing. Hinton lived alone in her Livingston house on Red Hill Road. Officers say they caught up to the suspected killers yesterday in the northern part of Rockcastle County. Police say they used a helicopter and canines to track them down after the women led officers on a chase. Now, investigators have not said why Hinton was targeted. However, police say they do think that she was killed in a home invasion. In addition to the murder charges, Howard and Slusher are also charged with burglary and robbery. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you very much. New this morning, police are looking for a man who robbed a Lexington gas station. That happened just a couple of hours ago. Police say just before 3 o'clock this morning, a man robbed the Marathon gas station on Russell Cave Road. They say the man was armed with a gun. He went into the store, held up one of the employees, and stole money. Police say he then ran off. They do not have a clear description of the suspect. An overnight gas leak caused a lot of problems for some Lexington employees. Fire crews were called out about 11:30 last night to the Home Depot off Richmond Road after they say construction crews hit a gas line that created a gas leak and crews had to evacuate the store and send employees outside. They didn't finish airing it out until about 1:30 in the morning. They say no one was injured. A man arrested in connection with a deadly hit and run in Scott County is set to appear before a judge later today. The Scott County Sheriff's Office says 44 year old Benny Vanderpool turned himself in yesterday. He is charged with leaving the scene of an accident, driving on a suspended license, and failure to maintain insurance. Police say early Monday morning, Vanderpool's car hit 20 year old David Bell along US 25. Bell died at UK Hospital a day later. The sheriff says he just wishes that Vanderpool would have turned himself in sooner. At the time, he was scared and had realized he'd hit someone and panicked and left the scene. 
Sheriff Hampton says Vanderpool admitted to hitting Bell, ditching his truck, and then walking home. Court workers say Vanderpool was supposed to be in court Monday for another charge. He didn't appear, and a warrant was issued for his arrest in that case. Well, the Social Security Administration has until later today to respond to a motion to extend disability payments for hundreds of folks out in eastern Kentucky. Previous clients of Floyd County lawyer Eric Kahn had their payments taken away. The government claims he used false information to secure benefits. WKYT's Hillary Norton is live from the Social Security office on Winchester Road in Lexington. Hillary, how's the case set to move forward today? Good morning, Rebecca. Well, we should hear from the Social Security Administration later today after a federal judge gave them a deadline of 5 o'clock this evening to respond to that motion filed on behalf of the hundreds whose disability benefits were suspended. Now, that federal judge also ordered that both parties take part in a conference call on Friday afternoon. Last month, hundreds of Eastern Kentuckians learned their benefits were suspended while a review of their federal assistance eligibility takes place. All 900 people who received the suspension letters are former clients of Eric Kahn, a Floyd County lawyer who the government claims used false information to secure their benefits. Kahn has denied the fraud allegations and has not been charged. He was the target of a 2013 U.S. Senate investigation. Now, the motion filed seeks an injunction that would allow Kahn's former clients to continue receiving disability payments until a government review process is complete. Attorneys representing Kahn's former clients say the Social Security Administration does not have the right to stop benefits before a hearing even takes place. They say this is putting these people who rely on these payments in a very difficult situation, especially considering they were not given any notice. Now, an attorney for Kahn says they agree the Social Security Administration should not stop benefits before a hearing and adds that these are good cases and people who clearly qualify for disability. Now, a separate hearing surrounding all of this is also scheduled for today in Floyd County, and that order is to prevent Khan from destroying any evidence that he has in his possession. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Hillary, thank you very much. 5.07 now on WKYT This Morning. State police are asking for your help in identifying a Letcher County robbery suspect. Police say this masked man who was caught on surveillance footage held up a double-quick convenient mart in the Isom community on Tuesday. They say he implied he had some sort of weapon on him at the time. Police say the clerk handed over a money drawer and the robber ran off with it. They say this is the third time that this store has been robbed recently, but police are not sure if all of those robberies are connected. In the last few days, some of you have told us you've seen bears around central and eastern Kentucky. Last night, we received another eyewitness photo of a bear running across the road. This in the Big Creek area of Knox County. There have been reported bear sightings in Moorhead and in Madison County as well. You can see those photos on our Facebook page. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife says June is bear mating season, so that's why you may see more bears right now. They're just roaming, and once they get Kind of west of Daniel Boone, the, 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 you get a lot more contiguous forest, so you get a lot more open fields, and so the bears become more visible. Fish and Wildlife says there's only been one reported bear attack in Kentucky. That was back in 2010. That person, a hiker, was not seriously injured. Remember, it is illegal, by the way, to feed bears, and you could be uh, charged up to $1,000 if you happen to do that in a fine. All right, it's their time of year, though. Keep that in mind. Someone in the bluegrass has a lottery ticket this morning that is worth a million dollars. The ticket matched every number but the Mega Ball in last night's Mega Millions drawing. PJ's Food Mart in Stanton sold the ticket. So far, the winner has not come forward. Cashiers say they are anxious to find out who bought the ticket. The store will receive $10,000 for selling that winning ticket. And so good luck. We'll see whose it is. I know. Sometimes I'm always like, oh, man, I should have gotten a ticket. But... Gone to Stanton. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, why not? It's time to check live drive traffic, see what's happening out on the roads. There's actually something going on right now. Updating you right now, alumni at New Circle is shut down at the outer loop right now. This is due to a car fire that we told you about just a few minutes ago. Police are letting people go up the exit 16 ramp there and then probably re-enter uh, Circle 4. But uh, at the moment, uh, a problem right there at that major intersection. And the driver says he saw flames coming through the dashboard. He pulled over and the car caught fire. Scary, I'm sure. Crews were able to save some things.
belongings out of the trunk. The rest of the car was destroyed. A wrecker should be there any moment, we understand. Okay, so hopefully that will clear up ahead of the morning yeah. uh, rush hour. WKYT this morning is just getting started, and it's good to have you with us. Well, you know, something else that'll clear up, the sky cover. I mean, most of us sort of see those peaks of sunshine yesterday, and you will see that today. Get those temperatures up there. I'll show you how high we go coming up.